Personal protective equipment, PPE, generally means anything you can wear to protect yourself from injury. In fact, PPE can be considered your last line of defense against workplace injuries or illnesses. On most job sites, every person at the site will need some form of personal protective equipment to help ensure their safety. From operators to maintenance personnel to managers to visitors, everyone needs to utilize the appropriate PPE. And every person on every site needs to be aware that the need for specific PPE can change as he or she switches tasks or moves around the job site. Just as a Caterpillar machine can be made more productive and safe when equipped with the proper work tools for a specific job, an employee can be more productive and safe with the proper PPE for the job. At the very least, employees must be trained to know when PPE is necessary, which PPE is necessary for the job, how to properly adjust and wear PPE, the limitations of PPE, and the proper care and maintenance of PPE. That process begins with a thorough assessment of the job site and every task and location on that job site. Are there potential hazards such as flying objects, slick or wet surfaces, harmful materials, falling objects, or high noise levels? Once that initial assessment is complete, you also need to assess the level of protection necessary. Are safety glasses adequate? Or are goggles or face shields needed? If there's the potential for flying objects, eye and face protection will be needed. Tasks where these PPE devices must be used include welding, cutting, grinding, and nailing. Are earplugs adequate or are protective earmuffs needed? Productive work is often accompanied by high noise levels. Depending on the noise levels involved, either earplugs or earmuffs may be necessary. Will hazardous fluids be handled? Manufacturers of potentially hazardous chemicals or fluids will provide a Material Safety Data Sheet, MSDS. Beyond such points as storage, disposal, and spill handling procedures, the MSDS will detail the personal protective equipment required for anyone working with the material. Always follow these requirements. Are slick or wet surfaces present? Slips and falls are one of the most frequent types of accidents around heavy equipment. Beyond keeping the equipment cleaned and maintained to minimize the potential for slips or falls, it's critical to wear the proper footwear. In many cases, that means shoes or boots with slip-resistant and puncture-resistant soles. Are falling objects possible? A hard hat properly fitted so it's comfortable should be worn. It's important to note that even before you outfit yourself with the appropriate PPE, there are some basic steps you can take to help ensure your safety at the job site. Your clothes should not be loose-fitting, you should avoid wearing jewelry, and your hair should be short enough that it's not likely to get caught in any moving machinery. The safest job sites incorporate a multitude of policies and practices, and the proper use of personal protective equipment is always near the top of the list. Every person on every job site needs to know and understand the basics of assessing, selecting, and maintaining appropriate PPE.